Damn right, let's get it started. Welcome to Robot Wars Reborn Episode 3. Now, believe it or not, 259 was actually more difficult to complete and design than you would think. The body is a little bit too small, and because of the placement of the wheel motors, it's very difficult to get enough batteries in there. So we got one big battery and quite a few of the small battery packs. And the other big problem I ran into was getting the motor for the saw at the right angle and height so that it would look realistic. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Well, I've clearly won this. But I want to rip off some parts. The fuck is going on here? Sentinel, get go on timeout and think about what you did. Slow down, I'm gonna spurt. Ah, ah, sorry. This bot is really causing a lot of damage. For all the computer bots, fighting him must be unbearable. I should bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> No, 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 fuck me dead with a rissol. I'm sick of this shit, alright? Yeah, I'm leaf for the B. I'm the top grand dogs with me. If you don't know about me, yeah, I'm you know. I know you're not supposed to bully the retarded, but Sentinel is so fucking stupid he deserves it. Alright, who's next? Aw, oh, shit. May the odds be ever in your favor. If I'm dying, you dying with me! Fuck off. So how well did the recreate of 259 compare to the real one? Absolutely incredible. The only point he lost out on was for appearance because the body wasn't long enough, it could have been a little bit longer, and the win-loss ratio accuracy, he was 2-2 two and two for Series 6 and UK versus Germany, so there wasn't really enough to give a grade for that, but for everything else, amazing. A. The design of KS2 was just as difficult as it was for 259. There was going to be no good way to make a solid sheet for the flipper, so I had to make the two flippers that aren't really connected at all, and it looks kind of stupid. The other problem I had to deal with was that during original testing, there were problems with the bot flipping itself over, so then I had to add the support spike strips that you see in the front, and getting the right angle and height for those was a pain in the ass. But it looks okay, doesn't it? You're hideously disfigured and will probably be hunted for sport. Let's play a game. How many flips will it take to get eye poker stuck on his side? The correct answer was too many. Way too fucking many. Easy like Sunday morning. Hey, too bad the last round wasn't like that. I broke my back. No, that's your arm, not your back. You my broke back it. is broken. Are you stupid? Well, we fucked up, didn't we? Kiss me. Go f yourself. I believe I can fly. I really wish I could do more you spin me right round jokes, but he just he just doesn't do it anymore. So how accurate was the Chaos 2 recreation? It struggled, and it could have been better. 
the appearance, the spot was difficult to make, and there was just no way we were going to recreate it perfectly. The weapon struggled at times, but so did Chaos 2's when he ran out of CO2. Win-loss ratio accuracy, 15 and 5 in recording compared to 24 and 9 in real life. But he was pretty aggressive, and he did well in the fight performance category. It's enough to earn him a C. Do you have a favorite Robot Wars robot that you want to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the robot's name below. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute.